the first artist that really inspired me to want to write music was Henry Mancini. I learned how to play uh, the Pink Panther on the piano, and I still play it. And I just think that his music is amazing, and he's done a lot of really incredible stuff. The writing process is backwards, I think, compared to what I know others to do. We usually write the music first, and then we kind of think about the mood of the music, and then we start writing lyrics, and then we try to assemble them into the songs. And on this newest record, Algiers, I enlisted the help of John Convertino, and he came up with some great lines. And it was really kind of a new experience for me, just having him step forward, because a lot of times he's really good at just being a supportive uh, uh, band member and, and partner in all of this. But it really helped me out just to have him kind of come forward and really take the ball and help finish some of these songs. It seems like the themes are of people moving, like migration, you know, whether in the heart or or, or literally, you know, on the planet. And I'm really fascinated by the history of the Americas, both North and South, and the fact that the Americas and the history of the Americas really is kind of uncertain. They don't really know how long people have been living in this part of the world. And I think that's really a cool thing. And so I, my mind often goes there and, and I'm really fascinated with like, you know, books like 1491, you know, the world before Columbus arrived. And, what was going on and what was the hierarchy of different tribes and, and people that lived here. And somehow I think that some of those themes carry on in, into today in, in our lives here. And so sometimes I kind of dwell on that, that feeling. Not necessarily you know, the exact history of it, but just the feeling of it, of people moving and, and defining themselves in their time. When John and I decided to go to New Orleans with Craig Schumacher, our, uh, our co-producer, we didn't really know or ha had visited this location before. I knew that it wasn't in New Orleans proper, it was across the river in a neighborhood called Algiers, but I didn't really know much, and so it was kind of a, a challenge in, in that respect. It was really good to get out of our element. We went there just for the writing. You know, We didn't really go there with ideas planned or already finished. It was just to go and see what would happen. And that's an important thing to do every now and then. New Orleans has mojo. It's got good and evil wrapped up together. You can't really separate the two. Um, it's eclectic, it's funky, it's weird. It's got a lot of history and character. It's close by the Gulf of Mexico and Havana, Cuba, which is a place that John and I had been to several years prior to this record. And I just felt this connection between Havana and New Orleans and the music that I wanted to create or, or the headspace and the heart space that I wanted to get into in order to make this record. I felt like New Orleans was was the place. And we went to New Orleans to make a collectible record. We didn't go down there to make a, you know, like a Mardi Gras themed kind of record or second line drums coming in. Um, and we could have. It's, it's really easy and it's really fun to do that, but I think it was important to go inward. These recordings are like snapshots. They are really, they're archival recordings of what's going on in this time and this space. It being in New Orleans and specifically in the neighborhood of Algiers was crucial to this record. And, I think it's more of a subtle thing than most people would recognize, but I think there's a lot of depth to what we do, and I think it's it's woven into the in all of those layers. Subtlety is key.